February is one of the coldest months in Georgia, so we are cranking up the heat. Not that heat. We're talking about spicy food. We are on the hunt for the spiciest dishes in central Georgia, and we asked you to help us locate them. Madeline Harrell visited some of these hot spots to find out what makes the dishes so spicy and popular. Tonight's journey takes us to Milledgeville. Pretty much we use the spoon to, you know, get the chili. If not, it's gonna burn your hand. Even though sometimes, like, when we cook, like, very, very spicy, like, the smoke or something, like, go to your throat and then your eyes. Any of the dishes can be as hot as anybody wants them. They just have to keep adding the chili flakes to them and it just gets as, I mean, like, as hot as you can imagine. We've got a, a few different rolls. Um, we've got one with some Thai chilies, which is really, really spicy, and then we've got a good bit of them just well, jalapeno kind of thrown in there. And we also have people add spice to other rolls to try and change them up. We, we toned it down a little bit. Um, thai spice is a little too spicy for um, most people. a numerical scale um, from like one to five and one being like the most mild five being like super spicy if you like spicy but once you get up into the four and five now you might might need to have a handkerchief for your sweat brow there have been several times when people want to go crazy and order like very spicy or make you cry spicy and then they realize that they can't actually handle that spice i, I could go all the way to five but at that point you start sweating a little bit and then it, i feel uncomfortable some people go like 10 star, 15 star, you know, like, <laughs> yes. Whew, so hot. If you have a taste for spice, check out Kai Tai in the Milledgeville Walmart parking lot.